A lot of great young fighters out there man, with so much potential. You guys have a batch of under Spence, there's Thurman, but is this detrimental to boxing that Canelo's in the situation, the face of boxing? Now we don't have a big fight on May 5th, and boxing is used to that big fight at least twice a year, you know, now we're left with nothing for, them, for the time being until they clear it up on April 18th. Well, the good news is we're always, as being a boxing fan, I, I cannot remember a period where we had that many great fights on a consistent on a, in a consistent manner and the way Showtime has stepped up to deliver these great fights weekend after weekend is just absolutely mind-blowing and I think that really makes up for the disappointment here with May 5th but it's funny that you asked that I was thinking last night the same I was always looking forward on May 5th to sit at home either if I didn't promote the fight uh, sit at home and watch it or if I promote the fight the whole excitement of fight week activities of the Cinco de Mayo weekend particularly in Las Vegas and yes you know it's a void and I sure hope it's not going to happen again uh, but uh, you know uh, Canelo hopefully is going to fight later on in the year and we're going to look forward to maybe a September fight and I don't know exactly what Golovkin is doing uh, you know, he's trying to really force hard a fight for May 5th and sometimes, you know, when you force too hard and there's no apparent uh, option or opponent, sometimes it's better just to take a step back and say, you know what, I'm going to let that one go because I'm not really going to do myself from a legacy point of view a favor and I'm not really going to do the fight fans a favor and maybe it's better just to wait and, uh, and fight Canelo in September, hopefully. He's been reduced to the Stop Up Center on regular HBO. Does that show that he's maybe not the star that they think he is and they do need Canelo more than what they think they do? And some people feel they kind of talk their way out of the May 5th fight to some extent. And they do want to blame them to some extent. Where do you stand on that if you, if you kept... Well, I don't think, I mean, I look at the stop-up center as the mecca of boxing here in the Western United States. I think it's an absolutely fantastic venue. Fighting at the stop-up center, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I think, you know, the length you have to promote is not good. The fact that you don't really have a, an option. I mean, I'm hearing names like uh, Spike Sullivan. I'm hearing names of Honest Martrosian, you know. I mean, is this really what we want to see? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I think in a way, you even harm yourself by doing things like that. I think it's better, as I said, to take a step back and say, hey, you know what, maybe I'm better off moving the fight into June uh, and see if I can make, that's what I would do if I would be Tom Loeffler, but you know, Tom knows what he's doing, so I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't want to like belittle him or so, but I would probably take a step back, wait until June. I read reports that, um, that uh, uh, Billy Joe Saunders would be available sometime in June. Uh, you go for a unification bout that takes care of these uh, looming issues with some of the other mandatories you would have. And you go and have now enough time to promote it. It's a world championship unification bout for uh, all the belts. I think we have three now. That would be the fourth one. That would be for the undisputed middleweight uh, uh, championship. So that seems to be, to, to me, a much better option than fighting Spike Sullivan or Wanda's Martrosian. Uh, and okay, so you can't fight in May, but you know what? Why do you need to fight in May? You're not Mexican anyway. So uh, you go into Mexican June. Style. Mexican style.